slices back to the office. Um, as most of you know, um, our restaurant group um, is implementing a $10.10 minimum wage effective April 1st. Um, I want to thank the mayor who uh, has been a leader on this issue uh, locally and nationally now um, and goes above and beyond uh, for city workers. But here in the restaurant industry and here at Pi, this has been months in the making. We began our research uh, last year and it was quite extensive. Many of the people who are here with me today either were part of that research or are going to benefit from it. But um, basically the numbers don't lie and, and that we can afford this and, and so therefore we should. We should do this. Um, and we didn't want to wait for the federal government. Uh, we don't know when that's going to come. But uh, you know, when restaurants are opening at an over two to one pace over restaurants that are closing, there's a lot of competition for talent in our world. In every other industry, that competition would result in rising wages, but it, it hasn't in the restaurant industry. So if we want loyalty from our teams, we need to show them that we value them and that we won't resort to paying as low as the government will allow. It will be very impactful. Chris is right. This isn't just uh, the right thing to do. This is good for business as well. The state of Missouri, uh, the minimum wage is $15,600 a year. That is poverty line for any size family. And what, what this will do is raise the rate to a level uh, that will be uh, even more competitive for employees, but also allow them uh, to, um, to have more money to, to, to support themselves and their families. You compare it uh, to when we were in 1968, uh, the minimum wage now is about uh, one-third or less than what it was in 1968. So this is well past due to get this done. So this is even a minimum of where it was back in 1968.